and welcome to Street Auto TV. I'm your host Shikha Singh. Let's have a look at the buzzing stocks of the day. With its projected launch on Moonbeam, Polkadot's parachain Uniswap's intentions for a more diverse offering have gathered traction. This decision, which was overwhelmingly supported on Uniswap's governance forum, will propel the DEX into a promising decentralized ecosystem that emulates Ethereum's features, fostering app portability. Moonbeam already has a smart contracts for the exchange. Just front-end integration and auto-router upgrades are missing. Moonbeam, which focuses on a developer-friendly environment comparable to Ethereum, makes it simple for developers to migrate their Ethereum apps to the Polkadot network, which is an interconnected web of blockchains known as parachains. Polkadot's relay chain assures that these parachains have the same level of security. The present focus of Uniswap is on addressing the new platform's initial liquidity difficulties. The idea warns against temporary liquidity bootstrapping absences caused by the market volatility. Contributors to the proposed implementation are considering asking for a Moonbeam grant to expedite liquidity provision, suggesting that the funds will be administered by Uniswap's decentralized autonomous organization if granted. Uniswap was trading at $5.35, up 3.63% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $3 billion. After a meme token frenzy drove up expenses on the largest blockchain, a digital token launched 12 years ago as a more transaction-friendly counterpart of Bitcoin has piqued the interest of speculators. Litecoin has gained about 20% since May 8, when Bitcoin transaction costs reached a high of a US $30 contract per transaction compared to a decrease in a cryptocurrency index. The increase in Bitcoin fees has also pushed transactions on the Litecoin blockchain to an all-time high as customers sought a less expensive alternative without causing a similar increase in expenses. Litecoin, like Bitcoin, uses a proof-of-work process in which miners employ high-powered computer rigs to organize transactions on the blockchain in exchange for token payouts. To promote speedier transactions, a new block of transactions is added to the Litecoin chain every 2.5 minutes as opposed to every 10 minutes of Bitcoin. LTC was trading at $92.94, up 0.84% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $6 billion. File, the native cryptocurrency of the decentralized storage system Filecoin, is up by 3% over the last 24 hours and is currently trading at $4.61 with a market capitalization of $1.9 billion. The recent up move in file comes despite the US Securities and Exchange Commission calling Filecoin a security. On Wednesday, May 19, the SEC asked Grayscale Investments to pull their application for a Filecoin trust. Earlier, crypto asset manager Grayscale had voluntarily filed for Form 10 to make its Filecoin Trust product a reporting company wherein it would need to file quarterly and annual reports. But the SEC has asked Grayscale to withdraw its application while calling Filecoin a security. Filecoin was trading at $4.656, up 2.88% in the last 24 hours, with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Popular digital currency YouTuber Ben Armstrong, also known as BitBoy Crypto, has sold all of his Ben token holdings just one week after promising his followers that the fan tokens would be frozen for six months. The revelation emerged hours ago when a Twitter user and self-proclaimed on-chain salute posted screenshots of addresses associated with Armstrong. Ben Armstrong, known for his concessious posting, launched Ben tokens in response to the euphoria generated by famous meme coin Pepe, which pushed many early backers into millionaire status. Despite the criticism and self-serving motivation exposed by community members, Armstrong's Ben tokens received a massive reception as a very popular personality in the digital currency ecosystem. The revelation of the sell-off has elicited a variety of opinions from the community, with some suggesting it is unsur unsurprising given Armstrong's history of similar behavior. The Ben token sell-off is essentially a rug pool event, which is fairly prevalent in the digital e-currency ecosystem. The situations like this, the token is predicted to experience a massive sell-off, pushing it down by a mile. Ben token was trading down by 15.14% in the last 24 hours, with a market capitalization of $2 billion. Curve's Curve USD user interface is now available less than two weeks after the company deployed its USD stablecoin smart contracts on Ethereum. The Curve USD will remain pegged to the US dollar using the loan liquidating automated market maker algorithm, a technique that combines a traditional AMM with a loan market. As a result, the Curve USD pools will include two distinct accesses. 
the curve USD token itself and the asset utilized to mint the token. If the price of the collateral used to mint the token rises, user assets will be placed into it via an oracle. According to the Curve USD's white paper from last October, the contrary will also be true. The user interface currently supports the minting of Curve USD using F SFRX ETH as collateral and liquid staking ETH derivative at the $10 million market capitalization. The company tweeted that STETH would come shortly after. That's it in today's special segment. For more such updates, follow 3.0TV and log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code to know more.